Hey everyone, good to be back with another episode highlighting valuable and rare error coins recently sold at auctions. Starting with this wrong planchet error, 1971 S-Link Lansen struck on a aluminum planchet created as AU58 by NGC with weight of 0.75 grams. According to Heritage Auctions, this coin weighs less than one fourth the standard for a Lincoln cent, and it is clearly a wrong planchet, wrong, wrong metal error struck on an unidentified planchet, probably intended for a foreign coinage. At the time, the United States made was striking aluminum coinage for Nepal and the Philippines, formerly from William Libert collection. His outstanding error penny was sold for thirty-one thousand and two hundred dollars on September sixteenth, twenty twenty-four. This is not only double denomination US coin, but also in uncirculated, almost gem condition. 1996, Lincoln Sand struck on a Roosevelt time, rated in mint state 64 by PCGS. So 1996 Lincoln Sand struck on a dime is unusual double denomination error. This happens when a coin blank intended for a dime is mistakenly fed into the press for striking cents. As a result, design of the Lincoln Sand is struck on a smaller and thinner dime planchet leading to incomplete scent details. These errors are highly rare and sought after by collectors for their unique nature and difficulty in creating such mistakes with grade of MS64 by PCGS. This error coin is in excellent condition, further increasing its value. Coins like these are considered valuable due to their rarity and the high interest from error coin collectors. What the heck happened here? Is that a real coin? Well, yes, this is 1999 Lincoln Sand multi struck bonded pair, graded in mint state 65 red and brown by NGC. The 1999 Lincoln Sand multi struck bonded pair is an impressive mint error where two planchets became fused and bonded together during the striking process. This occurred when the first planchet was struck but didn't eject properly, causing the second to be struck on the top, resulting in multiple strikes. The combined pressure from the minting press deformed the coins, leaving overlapping details from both strikes. With a grade of MS65 red and brown by NGC, the coin displays strong preservation with a mix of original red copper luster and brown toning. Such errors are rare and highly collectible due to the complexity of mistake and their visual appeal, making them available in error coin market. The 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a silver planchet is a rare transitional error. In 1965, US mint switched from silver to a copper nickel clad composition for dimes, but some left over 90% silver planchets from 1964 were mistakenly used. This coin weighs 2.45 grams, matching the silver dime specifications. Graded AU58 by PCGS, it shows light wear, retaining much of its original detail. These transitional errors are highly prized by collectors for their historical significance and rarity, as they represent a mix-up during a major shift in US coinage. Their value is elevated due to the scarcity of the silver planchet errors from 1965, making them important finds in numismatics. This true rarity was sold for $9,000. Sometimes even circulated and significantly damaged pocket change sell for big money. Let's talk. Let's take this error coin for example. 1925 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. The 1925 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet is an intriguing mint error. This occurred when a silver 10 cent planchet typically used for dimes was mistakenly fed into the press intended for cents. As a result, the Lincoln scent design appears on smaller, thinner silver planchet, leading to an incomplete strike. Also graded as PCGS genuine with VF details, VF standing for very fine. The coin is noted as damaged, which affects its visual appeal and market value. Despite damage, it remains valuable due to the rarity of such errors, especially from 1920s. Collectors still seek a unique piece of unusual piece 
because of its unusual composition and historical significance in US minting errors. This error penny was sold for $1080 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1952 Lincoln cent struck on a Roosevelt dime. The 1952 cent struck on a previously struck Roosevelt dime is a rare and fascinating double denomination error. This is a, as previously as previously mentioned, this is a, this occurs when a fully struck dime is mistakenly fed into a press meant for cents, resulting in the Lincoln cent design being impressed over the existing dime design. The outcome is a unique mix of both denominations with elements of both the Roosevelt dime and the Lincoln cent visible. Graded AU55 by PCGS, the coin has light wear but retains significant detail, making it highly collectible. Such double denominations are rare and prized by collectors due to their rarity. This coin holds strong value in numismatics market and this particular one was sold for $3840. This is 1961 D Lincoln cent struck on a 1960 D small date cent graded as AU58 by PCGS. The 1960 date and the mint mark are surprisingly clear and are located near the right border of Lincoln's west from the second strike. The second strike is rotated counterclockwise relative to the first strike. Cents struck on a struck cent are rare, since the struck cent is, is wider than a cent planchet and theoretically should not fit within cent dies. Adding to collector interest, the strikes bear two different dates and, and the 1960D small cent is scarce at least in comparison with the 1960D large date. This is a problem-free chocolate brown example and it was sold for $4320 on September 16, 2024. Here is 1964 D Lincoln cent struck over 1963 D cent graded in main state 60 by NGC. The strike is head to tail, so the Lincoln memorial reverse appears slightly rotated beneath the 1964 D obverse. On the 1964 D reverse, the Lincoln's portrait prominently occupies the center with the 1963 D plane at right corner of the memorial steps. Despite the brown designation, generous traces of red appear in protected areas around the devices. This marvelous error coin ended up selling for $4320. The 1980 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet is an impressive double denomination error. This occurs when a previously struck dime is mistakenly fed into press for cents, resulting in Lincoln cent design being struck over dime's features. The smaller dime planchet causes some details to be incomplete, creating a unique appearance with both Roosevelt dime and Lincoln cent designs visible. Graded MS64 red by PCGS, this error coin has excellent preservation with vibrant red luster, increasing its desirability. Graded in Mist 64 red, this specimen was sold for $1320. The 1991 Lincoln cent struck on a dime is a remarkable double denomination error. In this case, a previously struck Roosevelt dime was mistakenly fed into press for cents, resulting in the Lincoln cent design being struck over the dime's details. Graded in mean state 66 by PCGS. I don't want to repeat myself, so you know what happened here. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS, this coin is in superb condition with minimal imperfections enhancing its value. Double denomination errors like these are highly coveted by collectors and it exchange hands for $1020. Thanks for watching, these rare error coins recently sold at heritage auctions are great examples of the unique treasures that can still be found in coin collections. If